Hi everybody and welcome to a new video in the Solid Principles for Machine Learning Engineers series. This time we're going to look into the fourth principle of the SOLID acronym and here we have the I which stands for Interface Segregation Principle. This principle says that client code shouldn't depend on methods it doesn't use. Well, what this means in lay terms is that if you have a class that inherits from another class, you don't want the child class to inherit methods that it doesn't use. Okay, let's take a look at the intuition behind ISP. So basically the idea is, is that it's better to have multiple specific interfaces rather than a single general interface. And this makes sense if you think of interfaces as abstract classes. So rather than having a general abstract class that has a ton of different methods, and then have a concrete implementations of that abstract class that takes all of and you well not uses but takes and implements all of those abstract methods you want to have abstract classes that are thinner so that the concrete implementations of that class can have only the methods that they actually use now i know that these may feel a little bit weird but we're gonna get to a python example in a second so just bear with me now, one thing that I want to share with you guys is how do we spot whether we have an, an interface segregation uh, principle violation? Well, we should ask ourselves just one question. So we take a look at a subclass and we ask, do subclasses or does this current subclass implement abstract methods or just like any methods that it doesn't use, right? So, and if we have more methods implemented there than the class actually uses, well, we do have an ISP violation. Now, what's the, the problem with having ISP violation? Well, it turns out that if you have uh, this type of violation, your uh, code is going to be uh, coupled. It's going to be like tied together. And also, the problem is that classes know too much about behaviors they are not interested in because they don't uh, use them. And then you have to uh, implement really weird and bad hacks to get around like this problem. We'll see all of these issues in the Python example in a second. Here's our Python example for today. We have a simple use case that we have all the time in machine learning, which is recommendations. So recommending stuff like Netflix or Amazon do. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the framework here. So we have a base class or an interface abstract class that's called a recommender that has a couple of abstract uh, methods. So one is get closest items, the other one is get personalized recommendations. Now, it turns out that one of the ways you can uh, provide recommendations is by uh, suggesting items that are close to a certain items. So I think you are all uh, familiar with that. For example, when you are on Amazon and you buy, say, a fantasy book, then Amazon will suggest you other fantasy books that are similar to the one that you've bought. So yeah, that's in a nutshell, like the idea behind this get cl closest item. So you pass an item and you try to get the items that are close to the one item that you passed in the function. Now, of course, the item can be a musical track, it can be a book, it can be a movie, whatever you want. Okay, the second one, get personalized recommendations, is it goes a step further and basically you pass a user ID and then you ask the system to return uh, items that are uh, that should be recommended to that specific that specific user. Okay, so here recommender uh, has these two abstract methods. Then we have three concrete recommenders which inherit from the abstract recommender class. So the first one is collaborative collaborative filtering recommender. So now if you're not familiar with collaborative filtering, this is just a way of uh, making recommendations which work most of the time quite well. In this case, uh, this class, Collaborative Filtering Recommender, implements both get closest items as well as get personalized recommendations. It works with, with both of them. Of course, we're not really uh, implementing a Collaborative Filtering Recommender here, but just like printing out like some results. Uh, well, I mean, just like a sentence, that's all it is. Of course, we are not interested in the implementation, but rather on the general idea and how it relates to the 
um, ISP. Cool. So collaborative filtering recommender then works fine. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So DL recommender. So this is another type of recommender that perhaps uses a deep learning architecture. It could be, for example, an LSTM or something else, right? And in this case, once again, uh, this DL recommender subclass in, uh, implements both get closest items and get personalized recommendations. Great, it works well. Now, let's move on to the final one. So we have another type of concrete recommender that's called nearest neighbor recommender that of course uses nearest neighbors. Now in this case, uh, get closest items makes sense because nearest neighbor is able to return the closest items to a certain item that we pass, but nearest neighbor at least like in this implementation, doesn't know anything uh, about the user. So it's not able to implement get personalized recommendations. So in this case, when we do implement this method, we have to create a hack, which is basically raising an exception. So we have to say, hey, there's an error here. You can't call get personalized recommendations on nearest neighbor recommender because this class can provide personalized recommendations. Well. Now we are in the situation where the client code, in this case, nearest neighbor uh, recommender, uh, uh, implements a method that it doesn't use. And that's a problem because it's an interface segregation principle violation. Let's take a look at what we've seen in the code here in a simple uh, diagram. So up here, we have the recommender interface with the two main uh, abstract methods. And here we have the three uh, concrete recommenders. Now we have collaborative filtering recommender, DL recommender, and nearest neighbor recommender. Of course, uh, the, all of these concrete implementations do implement the two abstract methods which come with recommender, but as we saw, we have an issue with get personalized recommendation for nearest neighbor recommender. How do we solve this? Well, it turns out that we can split the general interface into more specific interfaces. So what we're going to do here is a change in the diagram that looks like this. So uh, we are going to strip get personalized recommendations from the general recommender interface, which is going to only, which is remain only with get closest items. And then nearest neighbor recommender is going to uh, inherit directly from uh, a recommender like this so that it only has to deal with one abstract method which is get closest items which is the one that it actually should implement and then we're going to have another interface that inherits from a recommender and we'll call it personalized recommender and this personalized recommender interface is going to add another abstract method, which is get personalized recommendations. And here we have both collaborative filtering recommender and DL recommender, which inherit from personalized recommender, hence having both abstract methods that they use. Get close, closest items, which come all the way up from the recommender interface, and get personalized recommendations, which comes from a personalized recommender. Let's implement this change. Here, what we want to do is adding the personalized recommender. So, personalized recommender. And this class is going to inherit from recommender and it's gonna have another uh, abstract method that's the get personalized recommendations. And so as you see here, recommender now only has get closest items. Okay, so what happens now is that collaborative filtering recommender is gonna inherit from personalized recommender. And of course, it's gonna implement both of the abstract methods that it uses. Same thing for DL recommender. But for nearest neighbor recommender, we don't want to inherit from personalized recommender, but rather directly from recommender. And so we can now drop get personalized recommendations because that's not part of the high level interface recommender as it's now thinner. Okay, and here we have a possible solution. Now there's also another solution that we can use and let's take a look at that in the diagram. Here's what we've just implemented. Now, the improvement or the other way we can avoid ISP violation is by uh, putting 
personalized recommender and another interface at the same level. So we're not going to have this hierarchical structure where personalized recommender inherits from recommender, but rather we're going to split the item recommendation and the personalized user uh, recommendation into two different interfaces at the same level. So let's take a look at how that looks in this diagram. So here we have personalized recommender that now doesn't inherit from recommender, but it's just like an abstract class that provides an interface which get personalized recommendations as the main method. And at the same level, we have item recommender now that only focuses on get closest items, this main method. And this is again, a, an interface, an abstract class. So what happens now is that nearest neighbor recommender inherits directly from item recommender so that it can implement only the one and only method it cares about, which is get closest items. But collaborative filtering recommender and DL recommender are gonna inherit from both personalized recommender and item recommender. So here we'll be using a feature that we have in Python, which is multiple inheritance. Let's take a look at how we can do that in the code. Here, we're gonna change this recommender for item recommender. So this is our item recommender, which is an abstract class and that has only get closest items. Now, personalized recommender, of course, now doesn't um, inherit from recommender, but it's just a, a, another abstract class that we have here. Okay, so uh, the method that we have in personalized recommender is correct. It's ju just get personalized recommendations. And now what we need to change here is, let's start with nearest neighbor recommender. And so this guy is gonna inherit only from item recommender, whereas Collaborative filtering a recommender and deal recommender are going to inherit from both item recommender and personalized recommender. And so this is multiple inheritance so that they can uh, have both access to get closest items and get personalized recommendations. And the same thing will happen here. Well, so we'll do item recommender and personalized recommender. Okay, so this is another option that you have to implement um, this uh, framework and still uh, respecting the interface segregation problem. Okay, so that's all for today's principle. I hope you learned a lot about this and that all of these videos are gonna help you write better code and most specifically machine learning code and cleaner code. So next time we're going to focus on the final uh, principle in the solid principles. And uh, that's it for today. If you liked the video, just give it a like and remember to share it. That's going to help a lot the Sound of AI channel. I'll see you next time. Take care for now.